Anyway, it's important because normally we would drive straight to Saskatoon, stop in Davidson to charge. That's halfway. The whole thing takes about uh, three hours. But New Year's Eve, I was driving to Saskatoon and it was literally minus 35 Celsius during the day. Like it, it will get that cold at night, but sometimes, you know, during the day is worse. But anyway, so I decided to take the route through Moose Jaw so I could charge at the Moose Jaw supercharger. Really? And, and then go to Davidson. What made you decide to do that? Because I wouldn't have made it otherwise. It was really? just, it, Are you it kidding was so me? cool. Yeah, yeah. So, um, wow. The, it was let's, minus let's, 30, let's 35. You've over 400 kilometers range technically on your Model 3. Technically, but it was and minus the trip 35. Is like, how far is the trip? 200 and? Yeah, 200 and some kilometers total. It's like two and a half hour trip. So you yeah. should be able to make that. If you, if you didn't know better. If you're yeah. just looking at the car and you, you you weren't educated on these things. Now, most people don't have to worry about this stuff because they're not stupid enough to live where we live. That's uh, right. If you live in most of the United States or uh, much of Europe, it doesn't. It gets cold, but it doesn't get this cold no. usually. And then, of course, I had a headwind as well. So minus 35 That's... and a headwind. So Ooh. I can confirm that the the range definitely dropped. So the normal highway consumption, like in the summer, in the Tesla is 160 watt hours per kilometer. And uh, I was up to 315 on the drive to oh. uh, Moose Jaw. So basically, yeah, the, the consumption was double what so it would you, normally be. So you actually be. took a longer route slightly, right? So I took a longer route so that I would make it. I wouldn't have made it with that headwind and that cold. The Tesla superchargers are spaced really well apart, like about 150 kilometers. They've definitely thought about this where it's sort of like worst case scenario. You can always make it between superchargers with a standard range car, which is the one I have, except when it's minus 35 and there's a headwind. So yeah, I took the longer route through Moose Jaw. It's the only way I would have made it. It was so ridiculously cold. And the car had some difficulty just sort of, you know, keeping up, like keeping warm enough. It did. So, uh, but it was kind of fun, um, you know, just to kind of see the, the capabilities of the car. And then on the way home, I anticipated having a tailwind because that's usually how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, but it turns out there was a the headwind on, on the way home as well. Yeah. And, uh, but I had already kind of decided to just take the shorter route and go through Davidson. Mm -hmm. So um, I went to Davidson, I charged to 100%. And then it's like Ooh. another 155 kilometers Okay, let me stop you there. Because charging above 80% takes a long time because it slows right down in all electric vehicles. Yeah. So how long did you spend charging to 100%? I was there for about an hour. I watched, uh, you know, a couple episodes of Archer on Netflix. See, this, Brian, this is not a big trip. And yet you had to do this. Yeah. Are you still recommending a 400-kilometer car for people in this climate? Well, yes, because it'll all work out in a couple of years. They'll but just you're be an early chargers. adopter. You're an early adopter. Nobody wants to stop and charge all the time. Yeah. Um, you shouldn't have to stop and charge, period, to go to Saskatoon. No, but this is a once in every couple of years kind of situation where it's minus 35 with a headwind. And by the way, with the wind, I can't imagine. What is it, like minus 50? It gets, uh, oh, yeah. it gets to the point where anybody in any car would question even taking that trip. Did you question taking the trip? Yeah, but again, I just, I wanted something to talk about on the podcast. and uh, You can't talk about it if you're dead. <laughs> hey, you know, we have cell phones. Uh, so, yeah, it, and it was, you know, it was, uh, you know, I wanted to learn more about this stuff. And I had done a previous cold weather trip, but like this was, this was the extreme. Like this absolutely is is the worst. So now I know what the consumption is like at the absolute worst. In the rest of my life, I probably yeah. won't have to drive with these terrible conditions. <laughs>